It's time to relive one of the greatest athletic feats of all time, and many of you probably haven't even heard of this athlete. Back in the 1970s through the 1980s, there was one specific world record that stood nearly untouchable by any other athlete. In the 1968 Olympic Games, Bob Beeman from the United States managed a jump of 8.90 meters, smashing the previous world record by 55 centimeters. To this day, this single moment is still the biggest jump forward in world record history. However, as the 1980s moved forward, one special athlete emerged as a clear threat to the long jumping throne. On July 6th of 1986, Robert Emian from Armenia was set to compete in the Goodwill Games against a very strong field. And in the fourth round of this competition, he did this. Emian jumping. There's his jump. Let's see. It looked pretty good from here. Well, he's had good, great explosion off the board and good extension, too. Great 28 jump. feet 3 inches. That's a new European record that was set right here at Lennon Central Stadium back in 1980. With a massive leap of 8.61 meters, Emian had just broken the European record in this event. And now, along with Carl Lewis, Emian was one of only three athletes to ever long jump beyond 8.60 meters. This performance was quite remarkable, as it improved on Emian's personal record by over 30 full centimeters. And even though this jump now placed him as the third longest jumper of all time, his all-time greatest performance was set to be much, much further. Just one year later, on May 22nd of 1987, Emian was set to compete in the small town of Sakatsor, Armenia. Now, it's important to mention that Sakatsor sits around 1,850 meters above sea level. High altitude locations do showcase some benefit for long jumping and sprinting performances. And for this specific competition, in the very first round, Robert Emian achieved something truly majestic. With a nearly flawless jump of 8.86 meters, Emian had actually scared the nearly untouchable world record of Bob Beeman, and in the process of achieving this still-standing European record, he managed to jump beyond 29 feet, making him one of only two athletes to ever do this in track and field history. What made this jump so successful is hard to see in real time. However, when we slow down the footage, it becomes much more apparent as to what was really going on here. As you can see, Emian's height on this jump was insane, and his hang time in the air was just ridiculous. And speaking of hang time, there's actually a very interesting comparison that can be made with this one accomplishment back in 1987. Now, according to Science ABC and PhysicsForums.com, the longest hang time ever achieved by the one and only Michael Jordan was 0.92 seconds back in 1984. However, for this long jump of 8.86 meters, it's estimated to have a hang time of 0.96 seconds up to 0.98 seconds. Now, yes, Jordan probably could have achieved this hang time if he were to be jumping without a ball in his hand, but to have a hang time like this while running at full speed is honestly hard to believe. This hang time, combined with very fast running and the proper foot placement, is one of the most specific and difficult to achieve moments in all of athletics. You just need so many different things to all go right in one instantaneous moment. And in this one moment back in 1987, Robert Emian achieved near perfection in the long jump. Since this incredible moment, only two other athletes have ever managed to jump beyond the 29-foot barrier, one being Carl Lewis and the other being Mike Powell, who managed to set the world record in the 1991 World Championships. The 29-foot club is one of the most exclusive clubs in all of sports, and currently, these four athletes stand alone as the greatest of all time in the men's long jump. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.